Hey guys, Real Spartan here. Welcome back to Sunny. I think this is part four, actually, and there should be only a uh, one or two more episodes left. So, off screen, I got this item that I wanted. I should probably try and get some better gear, but you know, all I found is this small set so far. I mean, granted, this stuff is pretty good, but it's level five gear. Veradux, I got him these Mender's boots and uh, Mender's armor, which both give lightning piercing and pretty good stats. I was considering giving them to myself, but nah, Veradux's stuff is good enough. You know, actually, I think my stuff is actually good enough, because it gives me magic piercing and stuff. Also gave him a Mender's Axe, which gives him more magic, more strength, and more lightning piercing than the uh, Ivory Mace by a bit. So hopefully we'll be doing better in this fight. We've got a Shaman of Death and a Shaman of Blades. Uh, my logic tells me to focus on this guy. Oh yeah, also. I've got a new skill, Reform, which heals me for 60 health and an additional 300% of my strength, which is approximately 120. So I have a heal that works on myself, but only myself. Doesn't work on Veradox. Well, that sucks. Probably gonna cut this out if I don't win. Jeez, this Shaman of Blades. And Shaman of Death combo. I tell you what. Am I actually going to win without Veradox? The Shaman of Blades does not seem to be that strong if I can take down the Shaman of Death first. I need to start suppression on myself and then hopefully he doesn't kill me. Okay, there's my reform going off. Intervention. I might actually win if this is all this guy has and focus destroying skills. Shatter bolt him, get some health off from intervention and maybe some of the focus back. Uh, subversion? Nah. I'll just keep quick striking him until I get some focus back. Wow, 5 damage. Oh, that probably took into account the shield of intervention though. Yeah, it definitely did. If increasing my defense by 70%, or just giving myself 70% damage off, these with 5, like, does more damage than without a shield. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm, I'm thinking too hard, which ends up with me not thinking at all. I should heal myself now. There we go. And there's that weird event with the thing. Oh, he has a heal as well. Sort off. This has been going on for too long. I mean, granted it's less than five minutes of recording time, but still, it was tedious. Break his boots, ice piercing. Break his gloves, ice piercing and magic piercing. I would, but I kind of need the stats that the gloves give me. Or do I? You know, I'll try out these things. And it gives me more focus. You know what? Screw it, I'll try out both of these things. Uh, I'll keep these things in my inventory just in case. Steel Slicer, really useless, I tell you that much. Next fight. Hey, go for the weaker one first, we'll never get him down. Yeah, this is one specific fight that I'm talking about. Uh, if Veradox gets stuck alive against the Shaman of Life, uh, the battle will literally never end. They get stuck in an infinite loop of... Veradox can heal himself, and the Shaman of Life can also heal himself. And the Shaman of Life's heals are incredibly good. Also, just notice I have 140 focus. That is quite a big increase. Veradox, don't bother healing me. I have a good enough health as it is. to rush this guy down before he starts healing himself. I bet he can heal himself like 400 points or something like that. Some ridiculous amount. 60? Really? Okay. I just realized intervention is not healing much at all. Uh, strength and magic, so it should be healing the same amount as last time. Reform won't be healing as much because my strength got nerfed. Nerf this! 
Who else is playing Overwatch? Uh, answer, probably none of you, because if you were playing Overwatch, you wouldn't be watching this right now. You'd be playing Overwatch. Because logic. He just healed himself for 666. He's a Shaman of Blades, and he has the number of the beast heals. You could say that he has beast healing skills, but um, I don't know. I don't think I'll cut any of this out because, well, maybe I will in case Shaman of Blades is just really that uninteresting. Now this won't take long. It's two versus one. One of the reasons Verdox said take down the weak one is probably because he knew that the Shaman of Blades, despite being a physical unit, has the overpowered heal of death. It's almost as strong as... Well, okay. There's this one enemy in the game that I'm not going to get to because it's in the, uh, the after-game stuff, and I think I just got some new gloss of Verdox. Magic, strength, and vitality. Yeah, he needs vitality. How much vitality does he have if not for the boost of the stuff he's getting? Jeez. Really low stats there. Okay, so as I was saying, there's an enemy in this game that is basically Morgan Freeman from Half-Life. And I don't need these because the other stuff's working fine. Who can heal himself for 200,000 HP. Or 2 million or something like that. One of the ridiculously high numbers that's even more than health than he has. The only way to kill him is that he does it when he gets- he loses 10% of his HP, at which point you're supposed to stun him before he heals, and then cast Subversion on him and he'll kill himself. No joke, that's literally the only way to beat him. We, the Council, deem you dead. You have trespassed here and killed our brethren. Your blood will pay for your misdeeds. <laughs> who? Us? We wouldn't hurt a fly. Okay, so we've got the Striker, the Breaker, and the Mender, which goes for the three sets of stuff. The Breaker is obviously the weakest one, as he, he doesn't even have 400 HP. Verodux has more health than he does. And Verodux is solely a medic. I mean, the Mender is a medic too, but seriously? If you're a physical or, you know, damage-based class, and Verodux has more health than you, you're, you seriously fail. I mean, we just... We just wombo comboed him to death. And seriously need some divine intervention here. Hey, 23. And we probably need to kill the healer next. I'll just suppression in case they decide to hit me. Sort of say, that was kind of worth it. I'm gonna try something. Verdux is of course gonna heal himself. I'm gonna subversion him. There we go. Oh. One of them missed, and the other one just didn't do any damage. It attacked focus. I probably won't be able to show off that massive uh, poison damage, but it'll happen. Yeah, actually, it probably just won't happen at all. Basically, the boss of this area drops a set of armor where each, pe each piece of it has plus 600 poison piercing. And the only attack that it works on in the game, basically, the only poison skill in the game, is that Veradox Poison Bolt. So basically, you're supposed to equip that whole armor set on Veradox, and he'll be able to kill the enemies in the next stage, because he becomes- he goes from Medic to Absolute Annihilator of the enemy's forces with that poison attack. You just need to hope and pray he uses it. So you, otherwise you probably pretty much can't kill anything in that section, except for Morgan Freeman. Although it greatly helps the fact that Verdux can keep his health at that level. Yeah, keep attacking me. You know what? I can just I can just suppression myself and then subversion Verdux. Granted, he will be losing the HP from intervention, but it doesn't matter. He has enough HP anyway. Yeah, good luck trying to damage a unit that's subverted. I need to get that skill at level 15 that gives you uh, a friendly unit 40 focus immediately. It's really good. So now you're seeing... Oh, really? He has an OP heal as well. He's not even a medic. Jesus. 
That move better have like 20 cooldown. There's this move in Sunny 2 that has an effect that stacks on your opponent that lasts for a bloody 40 turns. It's called Haunt. It reduces your enemy's focus by like a 3 per turn. It's only useful against one boss, and yeah, I just won't spoil what that boss is because that boss is kind of a spoiler. And just kill this striker. Only 12 minutes of video. We might get through the stage in the end. Fire piercing and magic piercing and magic. That's just straight up better than this thing I've got. I remember back in the other game where the the store bought stuff was better than the normal stuff. Because I'm selling this. Also, can't put a shield on Veradox because he's not a guardian. Only guardians, summoners, and apprentice summoners can do that. Well, would you look at that? The last shaman. How sad. Let's kill it. So yeah, the shaman survivor. Um, the shaman survivor, I believe, has high physical and earth defense. Like he's wearing the survivor set. Got a subversion Veradox because... Veradox is really a glass unit. Yeah, just keep attacking Veradox. I'm gonna stun the totem so it doesn't heal itself. Even though the totem has no stun animation. Also, by the way, Sunny 2 doesn't get lazy and do uh, units that don't have ad animations like that. There's only one unit in Sunny 2 that does that, and it's like... It's in the after story mode part of it, so it doesn't matter. It's literally a bomb that has like a turn limit that you have to kill it in a certain amount of time. Well, now I know why this thing is called the Shaman Survivor. You know what? I should have cast Subversion on these guys that are healing. That would have made them screw themselves over royally. Yeah, just keep using intervention on Veradox. He could use it. Shield stack in this game where... In Sunny 2, there's like... If, you, if a unit has a shield and that shield has been broken, if you cast another shield on it, the shield effect will not work at all. You'll still get the bonus effects from it, but the sh general, you know, the shield itself doesn't work. It's a glitch, and uh, I don't know how to, you know, stop it, but you could usually just wait for the shield to wear off so you can add a completely new one. And Shaman Survivor didn't do a very good job at surviving. Hey, level up. Uh, how much, what does reform give me? 80 and 350% of my strength. That's a bigger thing. Intervention isn't worth it, definitely. You know what? One extra focus per turn might actually be worth it in the long run. I'm just gonna keep upping my magic. In Sunny 2, you get, instead of one attribute per level up, uh, you get the amount of level that you are le le of attribute points per level up, so it's actually useful. Except I'm just gonna be putting all of my points in speed the next round, because it's overpowered what I'm gonna be doing. Not these guys again. I can't. I. Ah. Someone's playing with our minds. Stay focused. These devourers are kind of pointless. They keep using this poison attack, and it doesn't stack, so. It's stupid of them. There we go. I just completely nullified their effects. They're weak, too. Veradox, you should have healed yourself. Why didn't you? In before they used a super wombo combo attack. Why do these things have stone clubs? All the time. You know what? Subversion. There we go. Go ahead, attack Veradox. Break your weapons on him. Thank you, you just healed him. Save me time and focus. The sounds these guys make is weird. Also, it does not subvert focus regeneration, so, yeah, as you saw, like, that guy who tried to damage his Veradox's focus before. Um, I'm just gonna use suppression on myself. I mean, we don't need it. These guys are really weak. I mean, why do they have purple boots? Who do you think you are, Kung Fu Man? In case none of you get that reference, I, I just referenced Mugen of all things. 
Anyone still play Mugen? I also deleted the Mugen video on my channel because I was just not happy with the, the quality of it. I mean, Mugen is very hard to record with OBS. Due to the fact that Mugen has weird settings, if you record Mugen like you just use oh, normal uh, window capture, Mugen records upside down for some reason. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah, just stun bolt this guy. I don't think stuns are really worth it when this Veradux choose a target. I'm syncing up to you. Okay, fine, you can sync up to me if you really want. We're attacking this one. This is why in, in Sunny 2, there's a ally unit you get that I just like better than Veradux. I will say his name when he appears. In your party, that is. Really, I missed. Well, I guess it would make sense, my speed stat is really low. I think Veradox's AI act attributes his points in a, you know, all-round fashion. I think he also gets more points than you do. Because he, I mean, when you saw when I compared, his stats were quite a fair bit stronger than mine. God damn it, just kill the damn Devourer. He's not a threat in the slightest, just kill him. I slash it. Shoot him with lightning bolts and ice bolts. Also, magic piercing does not work on electro bolts and shadow bolts or anything except for magic bolts because. Okay, you can see. You probably would have noticed that each of these numbers is a different color. Uh, pink slash purple is magic damage. Yeah, we got another threat to deal with. It's not the ZPCI, they're killing those devourers as well. We're fading. Fighting a completely different thing. Should I use the Mender's Armor? It gives more magic, it gives everything but speed. I don't really care about speed, so I'm just going to use it anyway. Sadly, there is no better stuff I can buy, really. Except in the next zone where it has, like, you know, the after story zone where it has stuff you can buy for 2,000. And ZPCI elites. And Verdux cannot dispel that, apparently. If he could, he would have. I guess some things can't be dispelled. I'm gonna go on an all out defensive. Also, if an attack doesn't have an animation like a, the bolts thing, like, example, that attack, it can't miss at all, so. Don't expect that to miss, it won't. It literally can't. Stop doing that. It's annoying, and it does too much damage for an attack that can't possibly miss. So basically, if you're playing an assassin build, um, those attacks will pretty much always hit you, despite your high speed. Assassin builds in this game aren't really viable anyway. Destroyer builds are, but assassins aren't. Back in uh, Sinji Shadow of the Warrior, which was one of Krin's other games, Assassin build was pretty much the only build that could truly beat the game. Because there was this skill that did damage equal to a percentage of your speed stat, like 300% or something, and it stacked up to a massive amount, and you could pretty much spam that attack and win the game. No joke, you can go out and play that game and see for yourself. Just remember to get the ring from the guy and use it on the moon. This may make no sense at first, and that's because it, it really doesn't make any sense at all. Stop attacking Veradox, he's the weakest link. Stop being smart, you know, pest control. That's literally what these guys are, they're just pest control. Granted, it's zombie pest control, incorporated, but still. Alright, now you're just wasting my time. There we go. I'll probably cut that little bit out there because I said absolutely nothing. After I said that this guy was just wasting my time. Because these guys pretty much are just wasting my time. I, I just need to wait until I whittle one down. Just like the AI does on Veradox. And then I get to wail on them. Because this guy has no focus. For some reason, some of them can regenerate focus and other ones can't. You know what, I'll probably finish off this game in this episode, 
because making another episode just with the tiny, like, three fights that are left doesn't make any sense. And plus, I think Sunny 2 will take up a significantly longer time than this game. Okay, I know how many fights are left. There's one, like, two fights after this, then there's the boss, and then there's the, the boss, the boss. Like, an extra boss. Will that take... Actually, no, I, I won't have enough time to do that, because those bosses take quite a while. Especially the, uh, the second boss. The second boss, yes, there's two bosses. I mean, granted, there were already two bosses here. There was uh, the Rock Star and the uh, Shaman Council. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be the last of this series, and then the video after that will be Sunny 2. Also, I forget, did I forget to mention you can click on these things and you can get descriptions? You two are welcome to stay here. There's a bigger city on the other side of the mountains. <laughs> yeah, and other stuff like that. You could click in stuff like the other parts of the map, but it doesn't matter. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.